I'm going to do something quite big and quite soft. What I find is I don't want to have the hair too curly, but I find that sometimes only the gears curled is the only way that you can get a lot of body. So I'm going to show you how to tease with a brush. So I never really do teasing with a comb because I find it's too, um, too nostalgic, it's a bit too 60s. So I want to do something that's actually a little bit 90s almost. So I'm going to be teasing with a pure bore bristle brush. And my aim of this is to keep a very soft look, but I want to have a big, sort of more of a messier look, but without a lot of curl. So what I'm going to do, the reason I'm teasing with a brush is because if I tease with a comb, it's very much in one section. So when I'm teasing with a brush, it's a lot softer and a lot more natural. So I get a much looser sort of feel out of it. And a lot of the shows last season were this sort of 90s, the hair was back a lot more, it wasn't so forward and it wasn't so 60s as such. So I like to break away from trends normally. So what you need to do is you need to get into the roots really firmly first. Now this hair has already been treated with anti-gravity and it's already been sort of round brush blow wave. So it's already got the body in there but sometimes a round brush blow wave can be a little soft. So what you have to do is tease into the roots quite firmly and then lightly tease over the ends. Now your aim is to brush this out so you don't have too much teasing in it. So this is purely to get a lot more air in the hair. So what you're going to do is get right down into the roots nice and firm like this and as you come up to the ends you lightly tease it because you're going to keep the roots knotty but you're going to brush the ends out and your aim is to join each section in with the other so you can see how much volume we've got <laughs> not that it's going to stay like that but you want to get all those roots fully teased up and all joined in together so ram 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 and then you join that section in with your other sections but you're just doing a very light tease. When we're working on photo shoots the hair has to hold for like 16 to 18 hours so you really need to make sure that you work it and I find that a lot of times this sort of art of hairdressing gets really lost because people just forget what to do so this is a very very important step. So I'm just going to go right through the top. I always start at the top of the head purely because it's just easier, you don't have to section off the hair. And then I can see what, what I'm doing because I focus on the front and the top rather than focusing on the back. If you spend all of your time sectioning the back of the hair, what happens is you all of your energy and work is done back here and when you get around to here, you've got no energy left. So try and expend your energy at the front of the hair and then you can fudge the back a bit because no one really sees it. So the crazier it looks here, the better it's going to look later on. So you get right in, you can see we're right in there, and then we lightly tease and then blend. And normally this would be like, oh my God, what's he doing? But this will come out beautiful and soft and big and give a lot of thickness to the hair. So it's very good for fine hair that doesn't respond well. Right, now as you can see, it's a bit of a mad woman's knitting. So what we're going to do now is your aim is to brush the hair smooth, but you don't want to brush the whole thing, so you don't want to brush the roots out. So, so basically you're taking your ball brush and you just want to lightly go through and lightly sort of brush that hair. So you need to brush a lot of it out so that you can get the shine back in the hair again. But you want to try and leave a bit of it in, so you're just going to be brushing the outside of the hair. So it takes a bit of time, but the effect is really, really good. It actually makes curls stay in a lot better as well. So this is an old 80s method called back brushing. And I think it was actually taken from um, a victory roll. I think they used to back brush a victory roll, which was a, an old 40s type haircut. But as you can see, what it does is you can really mold the hair in and put a lot of texture in the hair, but you keep a very sort of full look. So the hair will be smooth, but will have a lot of body into it. I don't know if you can see this section here. So you take your brush and you smooth over the outside. So I'm being mindful not to brush sort of too much out because the more you brush out, the less the hairstyle is going to stay in. This gives it a bit of a Catherine Deneuve. Um, there was a film called Belle du Jour and she had very sort of smooth hair, but it was nice and thick, but still has a nice like softness to it. So it's not sort of hard looking. We want it to look like pretty. We want it to look pretty thick as well. And you can, then you can see you can really work the hair. And I don't tend to run my hands through the hair, I tend to run my hands over the hair so I can get a nice bit of body so that hair is going to stay where it's put. We'll probably go for a bit of a middle part. 
but who knows really, to tell you the truth. Don't really know until the end, to tell you the truth. I think your most important thing here is the brush. You can't use a plastic bristle brush because it snaps the hair. You can't use plastic also because it creates too much electricity in the hair. So if you're creating electricity and rubbing your feet on the ground, you're going to get zaps and you're going to have frizzy hair. And the last thing you want to do is snap this long hair. You want to sort of, this tends to massage the hair a lot more than a plastic bristle brush. And you can see it's nice and big, but there's a nice softness through the hair, which is really quite pretty. And young girls love big hair. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> so it's nice and big and soft, but it doesn't look artificial. Oh, I suppose it does look a bit artificial, but it's pretty. I love something that looks a bit pretty. So I'm just going to keep brushing. I think it's really important to do section by section as well. Like, don't just like ram through like a maniac. Treat each little section as a bit of a separate thing. Mold it how you want it, because the longer the hair sits in place, the better it will be as well. So always make sure that you're very definitive about the way that you comb the hair, because the longer the hair sits in that place, the longer it'll stay in that place. But if you're flicking all the time and going mad, you're gonna take the life out of your hairstyle. So just be very, quiet and considered. Okay, so what, what is really important too is to really think about your shape. So when you're choosing your shape, where I'm trying to go for something a little bit more height here, and I want that to pick up and sit just a little bit. I'm not gonna be too severe, so I'm just getting those ends nice and smooth. And I don't think I wanna use a lot of hairspray as well because this look is quite Soft, it needs a little bit of hairspray, but leave your hairspray to the very, very end because you don't really want it to be too stiff as well. So when you're getting to your last section, the front should of course be the softest part. So what I tend to do is just get that brushing straight back and I'm gonna have a bit of a part in the middle and really get the hair quite close around the face and leave a lot of height on top. And someone just mentioned before that it's a bit sort of Stepford Wives and I quite like that to tell you the truth. It's very glamorous, very groomed, but this process makes it look still a bit soft. So we're just gonna keep brushing. I'm being very considered on the bits that I'm brushing as well, because I wanna try and keep in a bit of teasing. And then I will get right to the very front and just part that. I'm just gonna have a very short part. So I'm not gonna have part it all the way through. I'm just gonna part it a little bit at the crown. I'm um, sorry, a couple of inches in and then I'm gonna leave that crown to sit up. So, let's get in there. I don't think it has to be too perfect, but pretty perfect. And we come in nice and flat around the sides. And then very gently work it through, like don't go mad. So just gently, gently working it through. I'm really just combing like one little hair at a time. And then a bit of spray on that will just smooth, smooth that over. Or if you really felt like it, you could brush the whole thing through and have no height on top, which I think is cute still. Depends what you're doing. I think photographically, you need to be a little bit bigger and I think if you're walking down the street, you probably need to be a little bit softer because you don't necessarily want to turn your girls into drag queens. I don't think, anyway. Okay. And then the rest of it can be done. So it's very important to get down on the level of your subject, whether she be a client or a model, and make sure that it looks to the eye, it's very nice on there. And then what we'll do is we'll finish off with the tiniest bit of spray. So it's like a very sexy, modern, biggish look that doesn't look like a drag queen. So she still looks like a girl, which I think is really important.